So here's an interesting piece. It's a Novation drum station. The rack mount, and there was only rack mount. I don't know why they needed to say rack. You can see it's very much modeled after the 808 and 909. That's the whole point of it. Let's see if I can zoom in on this 808-909 drum kit selector. So I'll just go over the front and back panel here and then tell you what I think. Master volume, headphone out on the front, which is nice. Protect and enable. That's if you want to um, make any changes and save them. You got a menu here. It's not a, an extensive menu, but it is a menu. Smaller two digit screen. There's the audition button there, so you can hear the sound. And then the controls. The controls are actually pretty decent. Bass drum. You can see there's tune, level, attack, tone, and decay. Snare drum, some good controls going on. We go all the way across and you can select um, between the toms. You can select between rim shot and claps and cowbell. And we have hi-hat, open, close, cymbals, and congas, maracas, and clavis. So, this one's I bought recently, probably last week, and I've, I've wanted one for a long time. This is 2020, and I probably have thought about owning one for the past, geez, 20 plus years, I don't know. Just not like I was pining for one, but I always wanted that 909 sound, and 20 years ago, there wasn't a lot of options for a 909, and I never did grab one, and a lot of that is because I had samplers like MPCs with sampling capabilities to play any sample, sample and manipulate them. And also because of digital audio workstations, I was and still am a user of ACID. And it doesn't matter what digital audio workstation you're using, you can get 808 and 909 samples all day and all night, seven days a week. So this kind of is redundant in a way especially for me, others might find it useful. So let me, before I just go spouting off about my opinion of it here, let me turn it around and we can look at the back. So it's a drum synth. It's got din sync, which is cool if you have some older models. Individual outputs, there's a huge bonus right there. Master output left and right. MIDI in, out, and through, which is nice, and of course power. So let me turn it around and tell you what I think of it. So I haven't used it for too long. I haven't been playing with it very much, really. Just uh, like I said, I got it last week. Played with it probably for about an, an hour total, maybe. And it's okay. You know, it's all right. I probably, it probably would have been a lot more exciting to me to own 20 plus years ago. And now not so much. Because like I said, I have an MPC-1000, MPC-2000XL, my digital audio workstation. I can, I can have 909 and 808 samples all day. That's not an issue. Um, you know, in terms of being able to affect the controls real time, that's okay. I mean, that's a plus for it. These signable outs are a plus for it. Is this better than a TR-8? I don't know. I don't think so. I think uh, I'd rather have the TR-8 because it has a sequencer and... Then the sound, I'm not thrilled about the sound of this, honestly. I hooked it up to my MPC-1000, set the MIDI channel to 1A, and boom, had everything laid out on the pads. That I really liked. That was super cool. But the sound, it's okay. I mean, it's only okay. I wouldn't, it's, it didn't blow me away. What am I expecting? I don't know, but it's, they're digital samples that are being played through this module, and you can control some of the parameters real time. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to keep it. It's not for me. I'll, I'll just end up selling it. I'm satisfied now having owned one that I don't want to own one. So I'm okay to let this one go to someone else. And that's my opinion. Thanks for watching.